The natural log of the natural log of x is a composite function. So to find its derivative, we'll need to use the chain rule, which tells us the derivative of a composite function, f of g of x, is f prime of g of x multiplied by g prime of x. The derivative of the outside evaluated at the inside multiplied by the derivative of the inside. So if we can accurately identify our outside and inside function, we'll easily be able to take the derivative. In this case, the outside function, which we might call f of x, is just the natural log of a thing, ln x. The inside function, as it so happens, we'll call it g of x, is the same exact thing. The inside function is ln x. No surprise, we have a natural log in a natural log. Now let's use the chain rule to take the derivative. First, we need the derivative of the outside function evaluated at the inside function. The outside function is ln x, and the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. But it's not x that we want in the f prime, it's g of x that we want in the f prime. So it should actually be 1 over the inside function, 1 over ln x. Then we multiply by g prime, the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is ln x, and the derivative of that is 1 over over x. Thus, the derivative of the natural log of the natural log of x is 1 over x ln x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.